Yes, dear friends, we are back again with one more hybrid molecule. In addition to nitrogen molecule, oxygen molecule, last episode we saw carbon monoxide molecule. This time we'll put on with nitric oxide molecule, that is NO molecule. For that we'll require nitrogen atom and oxygen atom. Nitrogen atom has got 7 as its atomic number, so 7 electrons we have filled in 1s, 2s, 2px, yz, 1 each. For oxygen, repeatedly you can say 8 electrons are already filled up. We want to form the nitrogen, oxygen, N and O molecule that is nitric oxide molecule. So according to that, we'll consider the three theories, Pauli, Aubau and Hunt's maximum multiplicity rule. Considering those three theories in mind and filling up of the electrons, let's start with the same. The first electron is in the 1s orbital as far as nitrogen atom concerned. I'll fill up in the lower energy sigma 1s orbital. Fight. As far as oxygen atom 1s orbital concerned, one electron out of two one will be filled up in again sigma 1s BMO because according to Pauli, Aubau and Hunt, the theoretical values are important. Okay. As far as the nitrogen atom concerned, the 1s orbital having another electron now has to get filled in the higher energy that is sigma star 1s. So mandatorily what is, there is no option left for oxygen atom 1s electron which is definitely getting paired up with the previous one. So you can see the total 4 electrons I have filled up in the molecular orbital. Same thing we can do for the 2s orbital. This is what you are repeating the same exercise. One electron gets filled in the sigma 2s. From here the oxygen electron also gets paired. Similarly one electron gets filled in the sigma star 2s. Again the oxygen electron also gets paired in the sigma star 2s. So these are the four electrons we have filled accordingly. Now comes the 2p orbital with three suborbitals as x, y and z. Over there we have oxygen with 2p but then x has 2 other than uh, nitrogen and y and z are same with respect to nitrogen okay one electron from 2px of nitrogen has to get filled in the sigma 2pz we have done so okay one electron from the 2px of oxygen now see it has to get filled up along with the sigma 2pz that is mandatory why because it is the lowest energy orbital and so it will definitely get paired up with the previous electron as far as the nitrogen 2py concerned, it has got two open options. One is pi 2px and one is pi 2py. It can get filled up either in pi 2px or pi 2py. There is open option. Let us fill up in pi 2px. As far as the 2p orbital of oxygen concerned, there is one more electron present in x. Now, these two are having same energy. So, obviously, as per Hunt's maximum multiplicity rule, when electron gets filled up in equi energetic orbital, it will try to see that it is balancing equally, that is, it is getting filled up equally when energy orbitals are having equal energy. So, here both have equal energy, so you can't pair up this electron with pi 2 px, so mandatorily it has to enter in the pi 2 py. So now you can see we have filled up two electrons total for uh, nitrogen atom. We still have the third electron for nitrogen and that electron either can get paired in pi 2px or pi 2py. Let us fill up in pi 2px. As far as the 2py of oxygen concerned, this electron has got no option but then other to get filled up or paired up with pi 2py and it does so. As far as nitrogen atom 2p orbital concerned, all the three electrons we have filled up. But as far as oxygen atom 2p orbital concerned, one electron is yet to be filled up. Now we have got the higher energy ABMO, that is pi star 2px and pi star 2py. Okay, you can have two options open because they are equi energetic. So you can either fill up in pi star 2px or pi star 2py. Let us fill up the electron in pi star 2px and now no more electron is left as far as the nitrogen atom and oxygen atom concerned. And so that is the end of filling up of electron. So what we'll do, we'll first of all calculate the bond order. Bond order is nothing, but it is the number of electrons getting filled up from the BMO, we'll calculate them total. 
2 plus 2, 2, 2 and 2. That is total 10. So bond order for BMO 10 minus the number, total number of electrons present in ABMO. 2 plus 2, 4. And there is one electron you can see over here. So total are 5. So I'll write 10 minus 5 and divide by the total number of energy levels. We have 2 each time. So divide by 2. So that is 5 by 2. And that comes to 2.5. Interestingly, you can see the bond order in NO molecule is 2.5. That implies that it undergoes continuous, continuous resonating forms. And you can't show actual bonds between N and O, but it can be just with respect to number it can be designated one more thing is regarding its magnetic property you know if it is having even a single electron unpaired it is paramagnetic and if all the electrons are paired it is diamagnetic let's see over here most are paired but you can see there is one electron which is unpaired and so i would say that nitric oxide no molecule is paramagnetic in nature and as it is paramagnetic you can also calculate its magnetic moment so this is how we can deal with different molecule formation i hope all the four episodes will be fruitful to you somehow or the other because the funda are different for different molecules to fill up the electrons study them thoroughly go through the topics thoroughly and you will face no problem. All the very best. See you soon.